Well, hello, my beautiful Leos. How are you doing? I hope you're amazing. So this is actually going to be your reading for February. Hello, my name's Amber. If you're new, if you're returning, uh, thank you for being here and lending your energy to the channel. Thank you all for all the views that I got last month. Um, I'm humbled, really, by your gratitude and comments and and just your participation in the channel. It really helps me connect with the energy to make better readings. And thank you for being here to listen to the messages that Spirit wants me to provide to you. Uh, that is really what it's all about for me. And that is very special to me in a lot of ways. So thank you very much. So let's clear the energy. Spirit guide, guardian angel, divine energy, universal energy. What do you have for Leo? What would you like for them to know, pay attention to, or be aware of for the month of February? For only allowing truth, honesty, love, and acceptance within the space. Sorry about that, Leo. And I moved your cards. <laughs> so you have recovery, uh, perfection, and acceptance. So recovery is about you taking kind of stock of what was what is going on in your life. I feel like in January, you really buckled down. You know what I mean? And then figured out what was bothering you <clears throat> and started to walk towards a more pleasant way of being a more pleasant life or a more pleasant choice for you using your intuition using your wisdom and using the knowledge uh, more like your intuition and the knowledge that you have gained okay so now you're building a new you and you're focused on building your new life and your foundations and all that. Be careful about being so hard on yourself moving forward. We all make mistakes and we all have things in our life that we may have feel like we feel like in the future we could have done better in the past, you know? Um Just remember that we all make mistakes and then we move forward. So I really feel like February is about you not being so hard on yourself about what has happened in your life and moving forward knowing that you have the opportunity to build what it is that you want truly, you know? Um, you should be proud of yourself that you got out of this particular situation and, you know, like faced the issues that you had or faced what was going on with you and clearing out those clouds. You know, I just feel like you should be really proud of yourself, Leo. Okay. Everybody's got all this energy about moving forward in their lives this month, which is really good. I mean, it's good to me. Oh, 
Okay. So, you're definitely in a spot in February where you're realizing your potential. In January, you were realizing it, but it's like now you have the opportunity to build something. Or, you know, like <clears throat> to build the life that you want, to achieve the goals that you want. You have that opportunity now. It's kind of like you have everything in place now that you're able to do that. Whether you know that or not, you definitely do, okay? Um, so with the King of Pentacles, it talks about feeling really good and being in control of your life and of your future and what it is that you have moving forward. So you feel in control. I do see that around you, there is the opportunity for a cycle to come back. Um, if you haven't fully cleared this energy out of your mind and, you know, your thoughts, I feel like you're, you might, um, <laughs> go back through this cycle again, but that's really up to you. You know, your, you, your willpower is your willpower, right? Right. Okay. <laughs> so it's really about you being strong enough to deal with it you being the initiator of your life so you have the choice you have choices to make in your life and your choice dictates how you move forward because remember you're in control so at this point leo this is an opportunity to remember that you are the one in control and no one else is you're not relying on anyone else's decisions or anyone else's actions this is all about you okay and uh, if you decide to go back into this cycle or not, and how you are taking control of the situation, okay? You have the opportunity to take risks and do anything that you please at this point. It's like having a clean slate and being able to choose, okay? The main goal here is to remember that you're trying to move forward. You're trying to branch out. You're trying to be something new or try something new. And they're telling me like whatever it is that you're trying is something that's worth waiting for, okay? Um, yeah, it's something that's worth waiting for, like a, like a big thing for you, not waiting on a specific person, okay? That's, that's the thing. Because you're trying to get out of cycles that are comfortable and break free of that and venture out side of the box or outside of this situation right so do keep in mind that even though you feel comfortable where you are or that you're in control it is important for you to listen to your intuition okay um don't be really hard on yourself and that's why it's so important for you to to be able to take risks to venture outside of your comfort zone or out of the certain cycles that you have been in and uh speak your mind This is, they're saying to me, <laughs> this is not a time to keep secrets. This is not a time um, for you to nurture other people's secrets or make excuses for them. All of that needs to come out into the open at this time. This is interesting, Leo, because it's kind of all over the place. I feel like in the past you have dealt with somebody that is controlling over you and um, they may have been acting really foolish in their life or doing really foolish things and I almost get the feeling like they're trying to make you see the foolish things that they're doing and come back it's almost like they're trying to get you to come back to them because they miss you okay I would let that go because this person just seems like a mess like <sighs> this is this is I'm not bringing this up for you to become reattached to this person I'm bringing this up to you because for some of you this is going to happen and this is just another way of them trying to have control okay or trying to regain control, whatever it is that they like to do. So, 
Yeah, this that is just a reminder to not let anyone take control over you. In February, you have control. You are manifesting the life and the the situations that you want for sure. Okay. Um, I do feel like there are some things that you are going to have to wait for. Um, some opportunities that you're reaching out for that you'll have to wait. This could be places to live, opportunities to move or jobs that you're trying to achieve. You're going to have to wait on them. I see you being really sad about it. And feeling like you have missed that opportunity. Um, it's not telling me now if you're going to get it or not. Which tells me that it'll probably happen in March or so. But I feel like at the end of February you're going to feel like you... Or it could be mid-February too. Because I'm going to do a mid-February reading. That you missed your chances you feel like you have missed your chances but don't be hard on yourself realize that any anything that you're trying to do leo anything that you're attempting to achieve is great because you're stepping out of someone else's or something else's control and doing what it is that you need to do for you so it's just good it's good 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 it's just good to step out of your comfort zone right now, I see. I still feel like you're a little bit uncomfortable with it. Because I don't see a lot of wands on the table. But I feel like when you get that burst of energy, okay, it's a, it's a good opportunity for you to to start traveling towards your goals and dreams. But you have to step out in order to do that. Listen to your intuition. Know that you're good enough. Know that you are in control. No one else is in control of you right now. Even though they may try to seem like they are, they're not. No one's in control of you. You are in control. Okay, let's do some clarifiers. All right, Spirit, what do you have for Leo? Some of you may have lost a job or a place to live or a relationship that you were trying to get off the ground. Yeah, I see some of you worrying about whatever this is taking off because it just seems to be delay after delay after delay. And you're trying to get yourself in a place of in a place of being in control, not realizing that you are in control. You know, it's more like a trying to see everything around you be in some sort of control. But you are in control. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> All right, so there's one, there's some instance for some of you. This could be all of you, I don't know. But there's an instance where there's someone that tries to control you over and over again, or there's some sort of mental cycle that you keep yourself into, saying that you can't do something or that something is out of reach. It's definitely time for you to confront what that is because it's stopping you from moving forward okay some of you it could be the friends that you're around um it it could be the a close group of friends that you have or confidants or whatever it is okay um that you feel like you need to be around or to make happy or um really it and really the situation isn't healthy for you because i feel like I feel like you need to see that they cause problems, whatever these friends are, these confidants that you have. And it's time for you to release that because I feel like that stops you from moving forward, trying to keep up or be with these people, okay? 
Yep, realize that you are in control. No one else is in control. Same things. Okay. Um, the judgments and choices you make are yours during this time, Leo. Yeah, your intuition definitely has the answers. Definitely has the answers. You have so much untapped potential and your intuition is trying to get you to move up and out of things. Okay. So it's time for you to take risks that seem, I feel like they seem uncomfortable or they seem like it's not what's for you. This could be a relationship that you're scared to get out of. Um, this could be going for a new job that's in a different place. It's something that you're drawn to do, but you're afraid to do that it won't be right for you. It's kind of like a risk, okay? But it's going to put you on the direction that you need to go in, okay? Definitely take a, ri a risk to release things that hold you back, for sure, okay? Some of you are steady trying to get an opportunity uh, with of love with someone that it's just not going to work with. You may have a stable enough relationship or an on again, off again relationship, but it just seems like you're chasing this idea of this love taking off and it's just over and over again, the same beginning cycle, but never really progressing. Okay. So it's time to work on actually releasing the things that hold you back, okay? Um, you need to be feeling confident. You need to be feeling sexy. You need to be feeling good. You need to be feeling handsome, feeling on top of things, feeling like people care, like you are successful. These are the things that you need to get back within yourself and how you should be feeling at all times, okay? It is going to be hard to leave things that you have continuously tried to feel comfortable in or accept or tell yourself that you were accepting when the situation just was never conventional for you, okay? There's so much out there, Leo, that they're saying that you're missing, yeah, by trying to hold on to the past or a situation that you feel may be for you. But you're definitely going to be a, have an aha moment. Yeah, when you realize that you, it's like you're not getting the recognition that you need or that you deserve in the situation that you're in. And the drive is for you to find this actual four of wands place, this successful place where there's gratitude, love and acceptance for you there. You know? Something that you can invest in and feel like it's a good investment and that you're not overindulging your time and trying to produce the right kind of family or produce the right kind of career, produce the right kind of money. So you're walking towards, by taking control, something that is going to be influential to your life in the future. Okay? All right? See? By doing this, you're nurturing yourself with the Queen of Pentacles. Right? She nurtures that pentacle. She loves it. She cares about it. And that's what you're doing with your life and your future. Beautiful. So let's pull out these oracle cards. Hold on one second. All right, Leo. So spirit call for you to have an abundance card, which flew directly out of the deck. Usually I don't pull that out for the generals, but that's what they call for. And it's beautiful. If I say so myself, your card is freedom. You're free to do what you choose. That is the card. And then, we have play. It says, beloved one, it's time to set aside work for a while. Don't worry. We will oversee your responsibilities to your, their completion. Playfulness, gaiety, and laughter will lift your energy so that you'll return to work with a renewed perspective and heightened energy.
playfulness again and passion and the prayer feather beautiful okay leo so the prayer feather talks about why do i always keep this up here this is the wrong thing okay that's right so you'll see it right here that was the wrong one but anyhow so so prayer feather prayer feather talks about you being forgiving and loving of other people's transgressions and just moving on with your life it's like having a a a, a opportunity to have grace for a previous situation or something you were in and not letting it gather up enough energy to affect you in the future but also um, knowing that it was there for a reason for you to realize that it was there for a reason and then to like kind of like let it go but take the wisdom with you you know so in love what I'm getting from this is there's a couple different messages I'm getting. Um, the first one is for you to think of love in a more lighter way and not put so much stock in it right now because it's really about you and you building. I feel like it's about you building your uh, life purpose and your career and just like who you are and your personality and that kind of thing. So love situations are going to come and go. Um, I feel like it's very light. Like your love life is very light. Like nothing's really stable. If people are coming in and they're trying to offer you something, it's not really going to last. It's, it's just like moment to moment things right now in February, it feels like. So, <clears throat> so play this is like spirit telling you that you need to lighten up in the aspects of your life, you know, um, take risks and think of things as a child with new eyes. Don't let old situations bog you down, you know, have a more lightness about it. Not try to be so serious about life and just kind of enjoy the flow of things. Okay. Freedom is for your career and your abundance. <clears throat> and you have the choice to go in any direction that you choose, right? Why would you go back? That's the first thing that they're saying to me. Why would you go back when you have the opportunity to go wherever you want, right? You just have to trust in yourself and take the risks, okay? All right, Leo. So thank you so much for allowing me to do this for you. I love you so much. And if you need a private reading, I'll be more than happy to do that for you. The link's in the bottom description below, or you can go to this little website here. I love you so much. Okay. Bye-bye.